With online sales becoming ever more important, learning how to deploy more sophisticated programmatic retargeting campaigns is critical to reach new customers. And guess what? The Amazon DSP is here to save the day for anyone selling on Amazon and even those who don't. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about the Amazon DSP and its advanced strategies to optimize your ad campaigns. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. So what's the deal with the Amazon demand side platform? Well, it's the ultimate powerhouse when it comes to Amazon advertising. With DSP, you can programmatically snag the video, audio and display ad placements to target the customers both on and off Amazon. Now, one of the coolest things about the DSP is that it grants you access to exclusive audience targeting data from Amazon. This means you can reach customers across multiple platforms and expand your reach like never before. It's like playing in the big league of Amazon advertising and you can totally make it work even if you are on a budget. You just gotta know what you're doing. Now let's talk about the places where you can reach your audiences using the Amazon DSP. Well, it's a pretty extensive list. You can reach people on the Amazon website itself, Fire TV, IMDb, Free Dive, Kindle, various applications, published partners, Twitch, third-party exchanges, and even digital signage ads. Now, why targeting ads with the Amazon DSP is a game changer? This powerful tool offers a range of benefits that can supercharge your advertising efforts. Here are a few reasons why you should consider using the DSP. First is brand awareness. If you're looking to get your brand in front of a larger audience, DSP is the way to go. You can track the performance of your ads by measuring the metrics like click-through rates, impressions, and detailed page views. For example, you are a new clothing brand aiming to increase your brand's visibility. By utilizing the DSP, you can monitor the number of people who clicked on your ads, how many impressions they received, and how many times your prior detail pages were viewed. Sales generation is the next. DSP is not just about getting your brand out there. It's also a powerful tool for driving sales. You can use it to target potential customers who have shown interest in your products, reconnect with existing customers, or even reach customers who are actively searching for similar products. In this case, your focus would be on metrics like ACoS or return on ad spend. Let's say you run a beauty products business. With DSP, you can retarget the customers who previously viewed your skincare line. Remind existing customers to restock their favorite items or target individuals actively looking for the skincare solutions. This targeted approach helps optimize your advertising budget and increase sales. Marketing insights is the next. The beauty of DSP goes beyond immediate sales. It provides valuable insights into the customer behavior and segmentation. By analyzing DSP and results, you can gain a deeper understanding of your customers, allowing you to refine your marketing strategy. For instance, you sell pet supplies. DSP can reveal whether dog owners are more likely to engage with your ads or if cat owners show a higher conversion rate. Armed with this knowledge, you can tailor your marketing campaigns to specific customer segments, making them more effective and personalized. It's important to note that DSP retargeting requires ongoing optimization. Since the potential for spend is significant, it's crucial to monitor your campaigns regularly. Having a dedicated DSP person overseeing the campaigns daily can prevent budget blowouts and ensure optimal performance. Now that we have established the importance of targeting ads with DSP, it's time to the four main ad types available to your brand through the Amazon DSP. First is responsive e-commerce creative. REC has become incredibly popular since its introduction in January 2021. With REC, you can include up to 20 different ASINs and select 10 supported ad sizes. This beauty of REC lies in its automation and optimization capabilities. If product goes out of stock, REC will automatically pause that ASIN and fill in the gaps 
It makes the creation a breeze and leverages the machine learning for optimal results. It's worth noting that REC has replaced the dynamic e-commerce ads, which are no longer supported. Next is static ads. As the name suggests, static ads don't have any dynamic elements. They rely on specific call to action, such as the shop now to engage viewers. These ads work wonders as mid and upper funnel tactics, drawing in potential customers and boosting brand awareness. You can direct the static ads to an Amazon storefront, a product detail page, or even a custom landing page, depending on your campaign goals. Next is video ads through DSP. If you want to tell your brand story and forge an emotional connection with your audience, video ads are the way to go. DSP allows you to run video ads within video content that is in-stream video or as part of a display ad that is out-stream video. You have the flexibility to link your video ads to a product detail page on Amazon or your own website. The best part? You can leverage Amazon's vast audiences to target the right shoppers and maximize the impact of your video campaigns. Next is over-the-top video ads that is OTT. Amazon's OTT ads are another exciting options available on the DSP platform. These full screen ads cannot be skipped and provided a fantastic opportunity to reach millions of viewers on connected TV sources such as Amazon Fire TV Stick. You can even target specific Amazon audiences to ensure your message reaches the right people. However, it's important to note that these OTT ads are not clickable. So their primary purpose is to capture the attention and deliver the brand messaging effectively. Now, who can use the Amazon DSP? Amazon DSP is open to a wide range of users, catering to both brands that sell their products on Amazon, that is vendors and third-party sellers, and those who don't. It's a versatile platform that has expanded its reach to over a dozen countries, including the United States, Canada, the Mexico, and North America. So who can benefit the most from the Amazon DSP? Well, it's perfect for brands that have specific goals in mind. Brands looking for programmatic advertising. If you want to take advantage of the programmatic advertising to buy the display, audio and video ads on a large scale, Amazon DSP is your go-to solution. It empowers you to reach your target audience with precision and efficiency. Brands seeking to expand customer reach, Amazon DSP offers a valuable opportunity to expand your customer base beyond the Amazon platform. By tapping into the Amazon audiences and placements, you can see the connect with potential customers in a more targeted and strategic way. Brands eager to leverage the Amazon audience. Now, even if you can't sell your product through the Amazon, you can still benefit from Amazon DSP's powerful feature that is Amazon audiences. This means you can utilize the valuable insights and data from the Amazon's vast audience pool to enhance your advertising efforts and achieve better results. So when should you consider using Amazon DSP? Well, the truth is, it's a fantastic tool for any company looking to expand its reach and tap into the vast audience of Amazon. I mean, who wouldn't want access to that kind of data and customer base, right? To give you a clearer picture of the utility of Amazon DSP, let's delve into a couple of examples. First is new Amazon sellers. Opening your Amazon shop can be an exhilarating experience, but let's face it, the competition is fierce. To stand out from the crowd and make a splash in the marketplace, you need an aggressive advertising strategy and that's where the Amazon DSP comes into play. By utilizing DSP, you can supercharge your brand awareness efforts. Display ads and sponsored product placements will not only catch the attention of the potential customers on the Amazon, but also outside of the platform. As your brand awareness increases, you will start seeing a boost in sales, paving the way for your success as a new seller. Next is new products for established sellers. Now, just because you are an established seller doesn't mean launching a new product is a piece of cake. You still need to create visibility and generate buzz around your new offerings. This is where Amazon DSP advertising steps in. It enables you to promote your new products, not only to your existing customer base, but also to potential customers who haven't even heard 
of you yet. By leveraging DSP, you can effectively showcase your latest creations and capture the attention of your target audience, ensuring your new products get the attention they deserve. Now it's time to elevate your Amazon advertising strategy by combining the remarkable capabilities of Amazon Marketing Cloud with the Amazon DSP. AMC is Amazon's data clean room solution that offers the advertisers a treasure trove of data to enhance their strategies and scale their campaigns. Once you really dive in and learn how to leverage the AMC effectively, you'll unlock the valuable insights that were previously inaccessible. You see, Amazon provides a range of advertising options that cover the entire sales funnel. However, before the launch of Amazon Marketing Cloud, it was challenging to fully grasp how these uh, options work together and influenced each other's performance. That's where AMC steps in to the save of the day. It empowers the advertisers to analyze the complete picture of their Amazon performance across all marketing avenues. AMC acts as a privacy safe repository for all the available data. It consolidates your own uploaded data such as CRM data and in-store sales along with data from your sponsored products, sponsored brands and or our sponsored display campaigns. This holistic approach enables you to gain a comprehensive understanding of what's working, what's not and most importantly what your next step should be to optimize your advertising efforts. Now here's a glimpse of what AMC brings to the table. First is performance insights. It gives a deeper understanding of the performance metrics that matter the most for your campaigns. Analyze key data points to assess the effectiveness of your advertising strategies and make the data-driven decisions for yourself. Next is journey analysis. Provides insights into the customer journey across the various touch points. AMC allows you to track and analyze how customers interact with your brand at different stages, helping you identify the opportunities for optimization. Next is Audience Insights, helps you dive into the minds of your target audience. AMC provides valuable audience insights that allow you to refine your targeting and create more personalized and effective ad campaigns. Next is Media Analysis, uncover the true impact of your media investments. With AMC, you can analyze the performance of your media channels and identify the areas where adjustments can be made to optimize your return on investment. To effectively use the Amazon DSP, there are a few key steps you should follow before jumping into the upper funnel strategies. It's important to ensure that your product is ready for retail. Pay attention to crucial details like having high quality images that showcase your product in the best light, optimizing your bullet points and description to highlight its unique features and maintaining a rating of at least 3.5 stars. These elements play a significant role in capturing the customer's attention and driving more conversions. Now, when it comes to advertising on DSP, you'll need creative assets such as the banners, interstitials and short videos. You have two options here. You can either create these assets yourself or take advantage of Amazon's support in generating them. Amazon has been investing considerable effort in providing assistance with the creative development, making it easier for advertisers like you to get started. One exciting ad format to consider is responsive e-commerce creative. This format allows you to automatically generate ads featuring up to 20 associated products in various sizes. The best part? Amazon claims that it can reduce the average build time up to uh, 90%. You can optimize this ad format based on the preferred performance metrics, choosing from options like click-through rate, the detail page view rate, or the purchase rate. Additionally, the system will deprioritize out-of-stock products, ensuring that your ads remain relevant and effective. In addition to utilizing Amazon DSP, I recommend running ad console campaigns for branded searches simultaneously. By doing so, you can complement your DSP efforts and increase your brand awareness. As more people become aware of your brand through DSP, you will likely to see an uptick in the branded searches, further boosting your visibility and the potential conversions.
It's worth noting that not every product requires a full funnel approach or should be advertised year-round. However, it's essential to maintain an always-on retargeting strategy. This means consistently engaging with customers who have shown interest in your brands or products and layering in my mid to upper funnel efforts as needed to expand your reach and capture new audiences. Once you have established your brand objectives, it's crucial to devise a clear strategy to achieve them. Our recommended approach for Amazon DSP varies based on the goals of your brand. Every day, countless people engage in online shopping and Amazon DSP allows you to target customers at different stages of their shopping journey. You may have heard marketers talk about the shopping funnel and the best strategy for your brand will involve the targeting of different levels of this funnel through Amazon DSP to meet your specific goals. First is low funnel DSP. For big brands, one of the biggest practices with Amazon DSP is to retarget customers who are already in the low funnel stage. Why? Low funnel customers are those who have either made a previous purchase from your brand or are well informed about one of your specific products. They are already familiar with what you are selling and engaging them can yield the highest return on ad spend Next is remarketing can also focus on users who are already acquainted with your brand, haven't taken any action yet. Now, this approach can be highly effective for certain types of products. In this part of the funnel, consider using the following types of audiences within your campaigns. Next is remarketing audiences. Re-engage people who have already shown interest in similar offerings from other brands. Next is advertiser audiences. Incorporate your existing audiences into your Amazon advertising campaigns to enhance your relevance. The strategy works particularly well for big brands that are new to selling on Amazon and seeking an immediate boost in sales. Keep a close eye on your return on ad spend to monitor the performance. Next we have is mid-funnel DSP. If your objective is to drive engagement and increase the consideration for your brand over competitors, using Amazon DSP for the mid-funnel stage is highly recommended. This involves tactics like offering discounts, coupons, or any attention-grabbing methods to divert the customers away from your competitors. Seize the opportunity to reach relevant audiences who are actively exploring the products in your category. Provide the right context and positioning of your product to enhance the consideration in the customer's journey. Also consider leveraging the following types of audiences in the mid-funnel such as the in-market audiences, target audiences actively looking for items or the services related to your category to increase the brand awareness and the consideration. Next is contextual audiences. Use these audiences to attract consideration from people actively exploring your competitive offerings. Next is remarketing audiences. Re-engage people who have already shown interest in similar offerings from other brands. The third one is upper funnel DSP. Moving to the upper funnel can be highly effective in terms of increasing brand awareness and visibility and attracting new attention. Now, upper funnel DSP should strike a balance between reach and quality. In terms of key performance indicators, the upper funnel campaign should focus on exposure metrics. You want to expose your ads to a larger audience, so evaluate the performance based on the impressions, click-throughs, and the detailed page views. We recommend leveraging the following types of audiences in the upper funnel. First is lifestyle audiences. Reach an audience that regularly purchases certain products or products within a specific category. Next is in-market audiences. Target audiences actively looking for items or services related to the adjacent aisle to raise the brand awareness and consideration. Next is lookalike audiences. Build a lookalike audience from your existing audience, your own audience or the Amazon audiences to reach people with similar shopping behaviors. Next is demographics. Select demographic parameters that align with your brand's target audience. In the upper funnel stage, I generally recommend using both the display DSP ads and the video ads to position your brand in front of your target audience. 
However, be cautious as upper funnel marketing can be costly if your creatives and targeting aren't executed properly. Campaigns must be very well considered in order to achieve reasonable ROI. After setting your brand objectives and finding the perfect DSP strategy for your target funnel stage, the question arises, how long should you run your campaigns? Now it's a tricky one, but here's the secret. Keep those high performing ads running nonstop on Amazon. Let them work their magic and ensure consistent visibility for maximum impact. But what about those shopping events like Prime Day? There's a popular approach. Start running DSP ads 30 to 45 days before these big sales events. This early start grabs potential customers' attention and builds anticipation leading up to the big day. Feeling unsure about which part of the shopping funnel to target or how to optimize your campaigns? Our DSP specialists are here to guide you. For big brands managing their DSP campaigns independently, we recommend starting with a mix of campaigns targeting different funnel levels. Gather performance data, identify the shining stars and adjust your budget's allocation accordingly for exceptional results. Remember, big brands need a presence across the entire shopping funnel. The ideal ad spend allocation may vary based on the marketing dynamics and your specific goals. Strive for balance and reach customers at every stage of their shopping journey from initial awareness to the final purchase. No one-size-fits-all formula is here, so continually monitor and you know, optimize your campaigns based on the performance. Stay agile and adaptable, fine-tune your strategy and achieve remarkable results to your brand. It's a dynamic journey of growth and success. There are several routes you can take to access the Amazon DSP depending on your campaign's needs and the preferences. While optimizing the DSP may require specialist assistance, getting started on the platform is relatively straightforward. Amazon's managed services is the first one. Now, one option is to access DSP directly through the Amazon's managed services. This option is designed for companies that want access to the Amazon DSP inventory while also benefiting from consultative services. Now, it is particularly suitable for those who have limited experience in programmatic advertising. Keep in mind that the managed services route requires a minimum spend of 40k euros or more. While this may not be an issue for larger brands, it's worth noting that Amazon aims to please all its customers and the level of specialization and attention provided by external specialists may differ. Many specialist companies choose to work exclusively with one brand per Amazon category, ensuring a focused and dedicated approach. Alternatively, you have the option to outsource the end-to-end -end Amazon DSP services to make the most of your advertising insights. SellerApp is a trusted expert in managing the Amazon advertising campaigns. We have a dedicated team ready to support you at every step of the way. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us on support at sellerapp.com. We are here to provide the assistance you need to maximize the benefits of Amazon DSP for your business. Next is self-managed services. The other option is that your business can opt for self-managed services on the Amazon DSP. However, this option requires a minimum ad spend of 100k euros and at least two individuals who have obtained Amazon DSP certifications. While some companies prefer to bring advertising services in-house instead of outsourcing it to the specialists, it's important to consider the labor costs associated with this approach and whether it is truly uh, offering any value for your money. Each route has its advantage and considerations, so it's essential to assess your company's resources, expertise and goals before making a decision. Amazon is continuously expanding its advertising offerings and not every product or brand requires a full funnel DSP approach. Your data will serve as a guiding factor in determining the most effective strategies for your specific goals. Succeeding on Amazon revolves around harnessing the data and utilizing the various tools provided by the DSP and the PPC ads to gain a competitive edge. 
ensuring your DSP strategy is future-proof and is essential for long-term success on the platform as it continues to evolve and present new opportunities for the advertisers. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Celera. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!